Hi everyone, today is Thursday, January 18, 2018. My name is Brian McInerney. I'm the hydrologist with the National Weather Service in Salt Lake City, Utah. This is a winter storm briefing, and we've got a winter storm on the way. So here's a rendition of the winds at about 30,000 feet. This feature here is where the jet and this low pressure that's going to move in to Utah and provide some pretty good snow. This area right there is, is the remnants of the high that's been dogging us all winter. It's shifted to the east. It's opened the door and given us a good pathway to get through here. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the Logan Mountains and we're going to combine them with the Northern Mountains because they're very similar and to be kind of redundant. So when you start with this storm, these areas are going to have the least amount of snow with this entire system at 6 to 12 inches. Snow water equivalent at 0.4 to 0.8 inches. It's going to begin late Friday morning. It's going to end Saturday morning. And then when you look at the greatest snow intensity, Friday afternoon through the evening hours, we could get up to an inch per, per hour at peak snowfall rates at 7,000 feet down to the valley floor. And the snow density trends really throughout all of the, the Wasatch and the Uintas are going to be decreasing. So we'll have right side up snow, which is nice to see. The winds, not a big significant event for this. Um, we're about 50 miles an hour gusts, probably about Friday into Saturday. And then they're just going to keep declining until we get to about 25 miles an hour. They're going to start out of the southwest, veer to the north, and then northeast, and then northwest. But really, winds aren't a, a big factor as that uh, front just kind of stalls right over us. Um, and that's, that's kind of nice when you look at that. The front Wasatch, central, central Wasatch, front side, snow totals 10 to 20 inches at about 0.75 to 1.25 water. It's going to start Friday afternoon. It's going to end Saturday night. And we're going to have the greatest snow intensities Friday night at about an inch and a half per hour during that time. The snow level at the onset, 7,000 feet. You know, all the storms that we've had prior to this have been dogged by rain, either through the entire event or at the beginnings of the event. And we don't have to worry about this time. It's going to snow for the most part right off the bat. And we're going to have it start at about 7,000 feet down to the valley floor with decreasing snow trends. When we look at the winds for this area, 60 mile an hour gusts out of the southwest, but decreasing wind speeds till about 30 miles an hour out of the west-northwest on Saturday morning, and then roughly about the same north-northwest-north all the way through until we're done. When you look at the snow totals, 7 to 14 inches, 0.65 to 0.95, and this is for the backside, Park City, Deer Valley, uh, Sundance area. Storm is going to begin Friday afternoon. It's going to end Saturday night. Greatest snow intensity is Friday night with an inch per hour. Again to 7,000 feet down to the valley floor with right side up snow. It's going to be decreasing trends. When we look at the winds, 60 miles an hour out of the southwest. Probably about Friday, you know, Friday noon down to 6 p.m. And then it's going to veer from southwest to south to northwest somewhere around 30 miles an hour. When we slide over to the western Uintah Mountains, Windy Peak, we're looking at 10 to 20 inches, 0.75 to 1.25 water. It's going to start Friday evening. It's going to end early Sunday morning. The greatest snow intensities are Saturday morning through the evening hours at about an inch and a half per hour. Again, not a problem with rain, 7,000 feet to start with down to the valley floor, and then decreasing snow density trends. When you look at the winds for this area, 70, 75 miles an hour out of the southwest, and then as it veers around early Saturday morning, we're going to be about 25 miles an hour gust. And then it's going to go all the way around to the northwest when the winds are the, are the lightest Saturday noon into Saturday at 6 p.m. So there you have it. Nice storm. We could use one. Look us up on Facebook. You can see us on Twitter there. There's my email. And I can't emphasize enough to take a look at the Utah Avalanche Center's page before you go anywhere in the backcountry. If you're patrollers, stay safe. And let's hope we get more of these in the future. This is Brian McInerney. Thanks for taking the time to listen to this. See ya.